Hello, we are members of the Kona High School Student Council. Every year on November 11th, America comes together to honor our veterans. We would like to pay tribute to the nation's veterans, especially our hometown heroes. We know that military service affects not only those who serve, but their families as well. So we would like to convey our gratitude for military families and their willingness to give up time with their loved ones. Although it is not said enough, we appreciate your selflessness and bravery. Therefore, on this day, we would like to say thank you and express our appreciation to America's veterans. To me, a word that describes veterans is resilient because they continue to stand up for their country no matter what life throws at them. Veterans embody our nation's values because they have fought for the protection of our people and fought for the protection of our freedoms and liberty. I was there six weeks in, uh, in boot camp. I was just, I think it was in between Milwaukee and Chicago or someplace out there. That's where my boot camp. Okay. And I was there six weeks for training and to get a lot of shots, oh. <laughs> a lot of shots, and because they don't know where you're going to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to go in the Pacific or wherever, you know, they give you shot, all kinds of shots. Wow. Yeah. In your arm and in your hand, and all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like them because they were strict. Um, mm -hmm. I remember that the first day I was there, in fact, we weren't even assigned yet. And we were marching back to or go back to our place where we were going to be staying in the in Kwasa huts. Oh. This uh, platoon or sergeant come around the corner with something named Marine recruit. He had a he had a peel on his head and he was beating on that sucker with a, with a stick. And the only thing I could think of, what did I get into now? <laughs> I got orders to go to. Well, we got shipped to Boston and got on a big boat, boat and landed over in our France. And we got on rail cars. They put it all on rail cars and we slept and we lived right into the rail cars. It's because they leave everything they have behind to serve. They put everyone else's needs before their own and do everything in their power to fight for our country. Thank you, veterans. For the veterans and the families of the veterans who have willingly chose to serve and have unselfishly sacrificed for our country. Veterans represent our nation and we honor them. I am grateful for veterans because they made it possible for us to have the rights and freedoms that we have today. I'm grateful for veterans because they choose to serve for our country willingly, no matter what the cost is. I went to Norfolk, Virginia, and I got onto a, a ship to, uh, and we went to the Panama Canal and you know, out the Pacific. And I, I always thought, you know, it took 40 days. <laughs> there was an old cargo ship where they put us on. And uh, it was real slow. But then when you got out in the Pacific, uh, so far, you had a, they, they had a zigzag every seven miles but so that you, you avoided being a torpedo there were Japanese submarines. The service the veterans have done inspires me every day because they have had to leave behind their families to go and fight for our freedom. I thank and look up to them for that. The biggest part was the winter. It was fierce. We weren't supplied with well, boots, you know what I mean. Anyway, the number of people that lost their toes or lost their whole feet due to the cold weather. Mm -hmm. like me being from Wisconsin, I was kind of kind of used to it, but still we did not have the right clothes at all. A veteran is brave because they have sacrificed time with their friends and family to do good for our country. Um, tell me about your family at the time. How did you keep in touch with them? Me, uh, my, my parents, I uh, wrote letters, uh, they made you write it once a week in boot camp. You had to write home. <laughs> really? <laughs> if, you did, if you did, they got on your case, so. But otherwise, I, I wrote to them, you know, at least once a week. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was on second, my second tour, um, 
my future wife lived back here in Kankana, and I wrote to her, you know, quite often. Oh, okay. And we got married. Our veterans are brave because they sacrifice so we can enjoy the freedoms of this country. I was in, in a rocket in flamethrowers. That's what I was in. And uh, the flamethrower, you strap it on your back. And uh, you get close enough, you'll burn them out. But, uh, it was not pleasant. But like I say, it, it was a job. It was a job to be done. We had to do it and we've done it. One word that I would use to describe veterans is brave because they put their lives on the line for our country. We were going along a long time following the tanks going into Germany and then we got held up. We were going to go down to train with Patton and uh, so we held up for the Russians to take over. Germans. But we went to Berlin. We were kind of going to Berlin, but then we stopped and left the Russians take Berlin. And I got wounded uh, in a uh, street fight. They shot me down. And I got, when I come to, uh, I didn't know where I was shot. I didn't have no pain. My left arm, I, I had my shoulder shot off, and I couldn't lift it. I was left-handed, so I... One word I would use to describe veterans is selfless. Not only do veterans protect our rights and freedoms, but they provide service and aid to those in need. One word I would use to describe veterans is dedicated. Their dedication to our country is unmatched. They risk their lives and spend so much of their time protecting each and every one of us. Thank you, veterans. I walked back to the house where we came from, and I come into the house, and uh, the mother and the daughter came and took me into the house and laid me on the kitchen floor until the paramedics came and got me. And I, they hauled me home to the big hospital. In, in Germany and there. And then we were there for about two weeks. Then I got in a plane ride and we got sent to England. I was there for three, four months. And then I got on a battleship to come home. And when I left home, I was on a dairy farm. And I left. I... <laughs> I didn't know if I'd ever see home again. I think that veterans um, embody our nation's values because they kind of show like courage and selflessness as they fight for our country. I think that our veterans embody our nation's values by being brave. Our country was built off of bravery because we stood up to Britain and so then we fought for our lives and brought fought for our freedom and I think today we do the same by having our veterans and our military serve to fight for our country and so that we can live in the safe United States that we do today. Veterans and their service has inspired me because they've sacrificed so many important elements of their life such as time with their family or their own safety to provide me and the people I care about with security in our country. This has taught me to sometimes take a step back and think about others before I think about myself. I, was, uh, I didn't get into a lot of action. The only thing is that we shot down airplanes. Okay. Um, you know, Japanese airplanes would come over most of the time at night, sometime between 12 and 1, 2, 3 o'clock. And, <coughs> and uh, we were in the harbor, South Harbor, where there was more than our ship, or other ships, and they'd come over at night. And then we had a, the big searchlight shining up. We could see them at night. And then uh, well, everybody put their guns on them. And I was a, a loader on a twin 40 millimeter gun. I was a loader. I had to load that gun up. And 
and uh, then they had Gunner. <coughs> Gunner, he uh, he was in command of the department. He had searchlights that would shine way up. You could see the airplane up there in that south. We knew where they were. We were mm-hmm. powerful lights that would shine high. <coughs> and I can say that we shot down airplanes because there was a different ships out there that were all shooting at that airplanes up there. You know, we shot at them too, but you don't know who hit them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then every once in a while, you'd see one of the zero ships, the airplanes come down. They always came down like this, and they landed in the ocean. Yeah. What do you think the first thing you would like to do would be once once you can start seeing your family again? What do you think would be the first thing you'd want to do? Just love them. That's all is left in life is love. We thank all veterans from World War II through the Desert Wars, no matter where or when you served, no matter what branch you were in. Thank you.